Hey guys, I wanted to share a, leader, a leadership lesson that I got at the Beachbody, let's see, five star and elite retreat in Scottsdale. And I'm going to share this because I think it's, it was so impactful for me. It was probably the, se the second most impactful thing that happened there. And for those of you that weren't there, there were only about six of us or seven of us that were there. So this should, is a cool lesson, and I think that you could pass it down to your leaders and um, make it a lesson down the road in your own words. But I want to first share with you, um, save you some frustration. So when I was first building my organization, you know, I was thinking of it as a team. Because, and the only team that I know of is the teams that I've been on as an athlete and the teams that I've coached as a college coach. And what I used to be responsible for was bringing everybody in, all of my 24 athletes, bringing them tight and conveying the message so that everybody is on the same page. You know, I'd work with the, attack, the offense, I'd work with the defense, then we would have, you know, huddle, we'd huddle up together. Physically, we'd be close together. We would have team meetings, you know, review film together, and we were tight. And that worked for that team, but I was trying to implement that recently over the last couple of months. And the only problem is, it's a good problem, is that my team was growing. And to try to scale that, what you do with 10 people, to what you do with 10,000 people, um, that, that approach just does not work. So I'm just going to say, don't do what I did. <laughs> don't have that mentality. It didn't stop the growth of my team, but it really started a lot of frustration within me, and it was my problem. So what I learned at Leadership, which is pretty cool, is this parallel um, from our businesses to basically a political campaign. And this guy, Jeremy Bird, came in. He's a strategist who was hired by the Obama campaign and uh, to mobilize 2.2 volunteers around the country to be, say, basically get the message from Obama's central command down to all of the people in different little pockets and neighborhoods. So they would have neighborhood leaders, those people that had amazing impact and trust factor and love and like and no factor with those people that are in their neighborhood. And so how we uh, are going to be able to use this with our teams is, um, is just pretty much the same way. But he was talking about it's the snowflake effect. And in a perfect snowflake, you have that center. And then off of it, you have the little, uh, little circles. And then off of that, you have more little circles. But we decided as a team uh, that that was not very, that was kind of wimpy. So Vito and Trina came up with the atom. And I think it's pretty cool. So the atom is a communication uh, system with your influencers. So this is how the structure is set up. Here's the central message, whether it gets passed down from Carl, um, whether to Trina, or whether it's something that you come up with. The central message is here, okay? Look up for what, it, what the central message is, and then just decide who are your influencers in the next level of that atom, okay? Who has that influence? It might be a diamond. It might not be a diamond, because your diamond might not be engaged. It might be an emerald who actually has a lot of people on the team but has not quite ranked up or lost rank, but they're displaying amazing influence and leadership skills over the people that are in their little neighborhood. So I hope that helps building the atom and just think of it as a communication structure. Try to identify who those people are and start communicating with a few to reach the many. All right, you guys, take care.